letting those things like love control you. You're letting those things build you and guide you along the way. Okay. That's the way I want you to look at these emotions. I don't want you to look at it like I'm telling you that all emotions are bad because all emotions are not bad. I say hi, say hi, say hi, say hi. All right, cool. I'm back. I think I think they're cool in the pool in here. Um, sorry about that. I'll t- I'll tell you why I'm so busy with the kids right now here in a minute. But um, so obviously, like I like I said, you know, I, I keep you guys focused on you know family, fitness, finance, and faith because it's so fucking important. It's so important to my heart. It's been so important to my journey. It's been so it's been so it's been so gracious to keep my attention right um and so i wanted to do the same for you um that's really important to me so obviously i I was doing you know two years of solitary confinement and this is good this would help guide me to master the five negative emotions and it would also help me to get controlled guidance of the five positive emotions right and i know some of you are like oh man controlling emotions that's cool that's whatever like cool I'm not saying that you have to control emotions all the time, right? Because you don't, but obviously you want to control your negative emotions. So when you guys look at these negative and positive emotions, I want you to understand that when we come from a place of positive emotion, right? When we know that a thought comes into our mind and that we are running from a positive emotion, then we know positive things will come from that, that we're driven by a positive, that we're there to impact, that we're there to provide value to others, right? And that we're there to impact this world in a great way. But if, if your emotions are coming from a negative place, right? If they're coming from jealousy, if they're coming from fear, right? Then you know that they're bad emotions and you need to stop those. You need to control those. So when you're looking at your emotions, I want you to think of these five negative emotions that you're running around life and you have your fucking foot on the back of their necks at all times that you are constantly controlling these five negative emotions and that you are letting run free and that you are compartmentalizing the five positive emotions. You're letting those things like love control you. You're letting those things build you and guide you along the way. Okay. That's the way I want you to look at these emotions. I don't want you to look at it like I'm telling you that all emotions are bad because all emotions are not bad. Without emotions, we are nothing. Without emotions, there is no passion. There is no drive. There is nothing that's going to get you out of bed. There is no love like Danelle Osborne, right, without emotions. And so I'm not telling you that emotions are bad. I'm telling you to know your emotions, to know the five negative emotions and the five positive emotions, uh, emotions, and to use them to guide you, right? I use negative emotions to hurt people. I've also used negative emotions to get myself up out of bed in the morning and drive to go and beat, beat somebody at their own fucking game, right? And so you have that ability. You have that control, right? And so, you know, sitting, sitting in solitary confinement over this two years, right, obviously would help guide me, right? Like how many people get to sit down and get to think to themselves about where all this pain, where all this suffering, where, where all of this stuff came from, right? And, and is able to break these things down. And these are the secrets that I'm giving you here tonight. These are the things that I came of two years of meditation, two years of thought, two years of heartfelt fucking pain, pulling myself through so that I could find these things to change my life and to help change yours. Um, but obviously, so, so you know, two, two years of solitary confinement, would help me guide to master these five negative emotions and they help me control the guidance of the five positive emotions. And by managing my time with clearly defined goals of what I wanted to accomplish, I was far more, far more likely guys to achieve my goals and live life on my own terms, right? This gave, you, gave me something that you guys all know as owning the pin, right? So this is how I owned my pin. This is how I controlled my life. This is how I controlled my destiny and it's what you go through day in and day out to own your own pen. 